Welcome to this short presentation on Navero Non-Invasive Ventilation Full Face Mask Fitting. Navero Non-Invasive Masks are single patient use for a maximum of 14 days. Always refer to the user instructions supplied with the product for a full list of instructions, warnings, contraindications, and explanations. The Navero RTO45 mask with anti-asphyxiation valve is designed to be used with a single limb passive vented circuit system. An exhalation port must be used with this mask style. The clear color of the elbow indicates there is an anti-asphyxiation or non-rebreather valve for safety in the event of ventilator failure. We will now discuss how to fit Navero non-invasive full face masks. Let us start with how to select the right sized mask for your patient. Place the sizing guide provided on the face. The blue line of the sizing guide should be between the eyes at eye level. The correct mask size is measured just below the lower lip on the chin. In this case, the patient is a medium size. Connect the mask to the flow source. Ensure the flow source is turned on. Ensure patient monitoring is in place. Undo the gray headgear clip on one side of the mask. Place the seal under the lips and lightly touch the mask to the bridge of the nose. Slide loose headgear over the patient's head. Connect the headgear clip onto the mask chassis. Please note, the crown strap will hold the mask in place while adjusting the headgear. Lightly adjust the upper headgear straps, ensuring that the mask frame does not directly contact the forehead. If it does touch the forehead, this indicates that the straps are over-tightened. If the patient has an orogastric or nasogastric tube, ensure the tube is placed under the integrated tube fit zone to achieve a good seal around the tube. Adjust the chin straps of the headgear. Don't over tighten the headgear straps. Over tightening may cause patient discomfort or leak. Gently pull the entire mask forward, allowing the seal to inflate so it can adjust to the patient's face to minimize leak. Gently release the mask. Readjust headgear as required and remember to gently pull the mask forward to inflate the seal. Repeat until comfortable with minimal leak. The roll fit seal is designed to roll back and forth on the bridge of the nose to accommodate a range of face shapes. However, if it's pushed all the way in, it may impair mask performance. Let us now look at how to remove Navero full face masks. Always remove the mask by undoing the headgear clip on either side of the mask. By using the headgear clip, you should not need to undo the straps. Slide loose headgear off the patient's head and remove the mask. Keep the remaining three sides of the headgear attached to the mask. Let us now look at how to refit Navero full face masks. To refit the mask, place the seal under the lips and lightly touch the mask to the bridge of the nose. Slide loose headgear over the back of the patient's head. If the patient has a gastric tube, ensure it sits under the tube fit zone. Reconnect the headgear clip onto the mask chassis. By refitting the mask using the headgear clip, there should be no need to readjust the headgear. Gently pull the entire mask forward, allowing the seal to inflate so it can adjust to the patient's face to minimize leak. Gently release the mask. We hope you have enjoyed this in-service presentation on Fisher & Paykel Healthcare's Navero Non-Invasive Full Face Mask. Please contact your local representative for further information about these or any other Fisher & Paykel healthcare products or visit fphcare.com slash Navero.